You aren't worth my time. Oh. No, you aren't worth my time. You don't understand. Yeah. Walking around all the fucking place. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? He just Rick here. And as we may or may not have talked about last time, we are in, um... Well, actually, we are in the East Armory, and we're doing a little bit of catch-up. Oh, my God, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> we're doing a little bit of catch-up with our quest. So, quite frankly, I'm a little bit over-leveled for the things I'm going to be yeah. doing. And I want to try to catch up with my epic quest. And right there, I was having a little bit of lag spikes right there. Too much stuff going on on the screen, but... Um, playing a little catch-up with these epic quests that I have to do. And I have to talk to this person in this dungeon. They have you doing this a lot, and I feel like... Um, a lot of the times, it's just kind of... I don't know. Annoying how... Like, these epic quests apparently are chained together, so if you don't do the epic quest prior, if you skip them, or if you just don't bother doing them, you can't pick up any new ones, even though I out-level all of these epic quests by a good, I don't know, like 10 levels, so... Um, I think there may be a switch, or some shit, or... How about I just... Destroy this cube? Oh, I can? Can I? Oh god, well, I'm gonna get hit with the other one. Is that a chest? Oh, I got a, like, a chest or something. We got these guys on the other side of the wall. How about I, like, kill them? I'm confused, really. I probably should have. You defeated Hidden Mimic. Mimic. I feel like there's something I gotta do, but okay, whatever. And this is what I get for not doing these dungeons. Basically, I picked one dungeon, that being the Ruined Village. And that was the most efficient dungeon to just keep farming. And I did that since level 40 all the way to 50 because um, it was just faster for me, I think, to, to level up that way. To just keep repeating the same dungeon over, which was, quite frankly, more fun to me as well, so, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with those ancient mimics and probably missing out on something, but... Wow, I just wrecked everyone there. And that's kind of why I like the Barbarian class in general in PvE. He he's has all of these AoEs that, even at low levels, you know, do a ton of damage. Okay, let's open these doors up. I think I have uh, most of these skills, like, level 1. And I can't believe I haven't turned on my buff. Like, that skill, for instance, level 1. And, yeah. Ton of damage and huge AoEs, so... Can't say the same thing for uh, Crusader and Guardian. They have one-hitter quitters. I have a lot of one-hitter quitters. You know, one-shot, big, huge AoEs, and kills everybody, so... A lot of fun to play the Barbarian class, at least, on this guy. Not to mention, he has solid combos as well, so, I mean... Very, very offensive class, and I'm all for being offensive. And wh what have I done? Press the wrong button, and there you go. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's the problem. You have so many skills, actually, and I why I really enjoy this game and games like it is that you have so many skills to choose from. In this case, I have to use basically <laughs> two different hotkeys. You gotta like uh, press the hotkey exchange button just to use the skill so let's use our ultimate skill here i didn't know how many enemies were nearby i should have looked at the mini map okay well took everybody there i think this opens up the door and this is the reason actually why uh dungeons like the ruined village are much more efficient for farming and and leveling in general i think you get most of your exp actually from clearing the dungeon itself so what happens with Ruined Village is, it's just one map, and therefore, you don't have to keep loading into new maps all the time. I think this one actually has three maps in total. This room as well, and I think another room for the boss room itself, so... Um, the less maps you have to load in, especially so in parties, the more efficient the dungeon is to do. And so, this one, not entirely efficient, but decided to do it just because of the epic quest I had anyway. There's some kind of gimmick with this room. I have no idea what it is. Something about fire room, water rooms opening and shit. I don't know. I just kill things. Let's do it. Okay, we got the room of water. Are you gonna get one of these, bitch? Wow, got one shot, basically. And like I said, I am a little bit over-leveled, so it's probably why I'm uh, just decimating everything. What else do I got? And the run is really nice too, I forgot to mention. Probably one of the most favorite things about this guy is that he has a run. It uses up a lot of ma mana, but if you just uh, hold the... Just roll and then run along here, it's a oh, whole sorry. lot faster. You all look the same. And in a lot of cases, the dungeons are relatively... You, no matter what you say. Have a lot of space in between killing guys, so can get pretty annoying. Okay, what do I do next now? Is this it? Do I leave the dungeon? 
to go back into the portal. So running is really nice. Sad thing is it uses up a lot of mana, so hopefully not too much. I thought it just came from here. Oh, okay, there you go. And I believe this is the boss room, so just a lot of rooms to to load in to finally get into the boss room here, so that's part of the reason why it's not entirely popular for when you want to try to do some power leveling, which is what I often do. So, oh my. See ya. You're dead. Whoa. Do I get chests? Do I only get one? Ah, oh, it's a fake. Damn it. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, let's do another one, I guess. I mean, all things considered, even though I feel like I'm moving at, like, freaking snail's pace, I do believe I'm getting quite a bit of at least decent EXP, even though the, these epic quests are about 10 levels behind me, basically. I'm getting pretty good EXP. So I've gotten about 30% in the past hour, so I mean... It's not like I'm not getting anything out of it. But still, but still, super annoying. Alright, let's see who drops this shitty ass item. Hopefully it's you. And yes it is, I'm done. I mean, that was just really unnecessarily long. Ugh, so many map loads. I mean, the, the thing is, like, the, the drop that he wants is often the, the first mob that you fight, it drops it, you know? It's just a waste of time, don't you understand? It's like a waste of time, literally, to go into that map. You might have just had me do a dungeon. That would have been a lot more uh, fun than just do killing two guys, going back to town, have going back to, to field, go to another dungeon, Bugging kill two guys, go back to town, go to field. I mean, this is fucking annoying. <laughs> Talk to Seidel. How many times have I gone into this hut and talked to both of these idiots? I don't care anymore. I talk to this asshole. How many times? Like, I know, it looks like one time already, but no. Those of you guys who have actually done this know how many times we've done this. Talk to Kiwi. Talk to somebody else. Oh no, I gotta talk to somebody in town. Guess what? Do I have to go back into the field? Get good grief. I mean, is my frustration unjustified, guys? I mean, those of you guys who have done it, you guys know what I'm talking about here. And these loading screens, I have a pretty good computer. These loading screens are not short, and they do it all the time. Oh, good God. Didn't I just say, talking to this person? Talking to somebody in some other location. Just get me into a dungeon, please. All right, finally in here, guys. Okay, we gotta talk to somebody. I, I don't care, really. Right now, I'm already fed up, and I'm sorry, but this is why I already said I knew I was gonna be in trouble knowing that I was gonna have to play this catch-up game and t considering that I'm 10 levels higher you would think that it would be quick for me to c to catch up you know I'm a lot stronger than all these mobs so you know it's just a matter of killing them quickly but in this case no it doesn't matter how strong you are it's gonna take you a long time just because of how shitty they did the epic quests shitty and boring but ding and just a logical placement of the NPCs inside of dungeons, inside of fields, inside of towns, just split up everywhere. Goodness. This guy's blocking me? Ser Dude! CS Perry on? Okay, that's it. You're about to get altered. You're about to get hit with the freaking ultra if you block another one of my attacks. I'm fed up already. Alright, let's go. But guys, we're jumping into the Dragon Cultist base, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not usually like that. I'm getting impatient, so. You shall not pass. They could have picked anything, but they went with you shall not pass. And like I said, guys, moving swiftly along. I don't master difficulty. I might be able to do it on Abyss. I know Abyss is like, actually... I don't know if I can do it yet. I know I'm like pretty high level for these guys, but Abyss is a lot harder. I believe, you know, a lot harder than the Master difficulty, so I'll give it a shot next time. I don't think it's worth the EXP gain I'm gonna get. Only if I'm in a party and I know I can clear it equally as quickly as if it was on Master, then I would say Abyss would probably be worth it for the EXP. But for me, I think Master is where I kinda... Well, that's a rare chest. Master's kinda where I draw the line just because, you know, I'm a very uh, time efficient guy, which it should be apparent by now since I'm bitching about, you know, going in town and all that stuff. Time is kind of important to me when I'm, I'm doing these things. I often try to find what is the most efficient way to do something. And so, goodness, what am I doing? And so, if it, 
if it's not gonna benefit me very much to do a harder dungeon, I don't mind doing an easier dungeon, you know? So, I don't mind doing it at an easier difficulty if it means that I'm gonna clear the dungeon faster and therefore get more EXP, so, um, I'm not gonna do the hardest one every time just, just so I can get a barely any more EXP. Uh, stamina for me is not a, ever a big deal, actually. I know stamina is such a big deal for people, but when you play as often as uh, I tend to in games like this, stamina is actually like whatever. I'll wait till till tomorrow. That's that's not a big deal. <laughs> Get another character. Getting on having multiple characters is an easy way. Just even one other character is an absolutely flawless way to ensure that uh, you will not get frustrated with stamina systems because if you have two characters that you have to worry about that just doubles your playtime and often in games like these it takes you know hours to deplete your stamina anyway so just a little tip right out there and I probably should have used the bone crasher before I use that maybe I should be doing this on Abyss I know he's a level 47 guy but my guy is level 51 and he's quite geared for his level 2 so I am dishing out the hurt on this guy where he is going into these phases automatically here oh shit Wow! Almost had a man as well. Probably should have picked some of those up. Let's hit him with one of these. I just want to hit him with a one-hitter quitter so he doesn't get pissed off and leave. That was not enough. I don't think... Oh, it was. Okay, good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry you had to hear me uh, complain. But I'm going to keep trudging along, guys. I've been doing the epic quest. I'm um, already at level 40-something dungeons. And I'm 51, so... Shouldn't be too long, and like I said earlier, I am actually getting some decent EXP at least with these dungeons. That one gave about 3%, 2 3%, so not bad at all. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Uh, <laughs> that sucks with this asshole again. Always with this guy. Oh my god.